You may have seen them at protests or marches. A group of men carrying assault style rifles and handguns. New at 10, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield introduces us to a self described elite security unit that is working to bridge the gap between the police and the community. During the social unrest after George Floyd's death, peaceful protests became at times dangerous. Then, the call was made originally by the NAACP for community members to come out and help patrol the West Broadway corridor. Local residents who say they have permits to carry answered that call. Some of us didn't even know each other beforehand. Um, a lot of us did know each other beforehand, but uh, we built a brotherhood. So for about 10 nights, we pr patrolled West Broadway, making sure that our buildings were safe, making sure that the community was safe. Their patrolling did make a difference. The men worked together so well, they decided to form a tactical security company called the Freedom Fighters. We are a community-based organization that are here to protect and patrol our community, help bridge the gap between police and community, someone who can go into areas that maybe the police can't go into and help. The Freedom Fighters are not trying to replace police, but say they want to build relationships that help in the betterment of the community. The group says they have a good relationship with the Minneapolis Police Chief, Madaria Arredondo, and they will continue to build bridges and trust. We just want our community to understand that they do have somebody that they can count on and that we're here to, you know, create a safer place, create some peace. Their goal is change and for constitutional freedom, including the Second Amendment, to be shared by all. It definitely makes us feel good to know that we're a part of it um, and that we're able to be on the front lines to help secure those people that are uh, using their voice to promote change. It's bigger than just the Minnesota Freedom Fighters. It's the brotherhood. With photojournalist Tony Peterson, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. The Freedom Fighters are holding a meet and greet on Saturday morning at 11 in North Minneapolis. If you'd like to support them, they have a GoFundMe account set up or you can check them out on Facebook.